All right, mindset is so important to healing, any healing journey you're on. Well, let's have some car therapy and talk this out. I made a post uh, a couple months ago, and it was about the same thing about mindset because I yell about it a lot, and someone wrote, I wish this was true. Um, I have tried everything. Just thinking about being like a happy mindset is not going to help me heal. Unfortunately, we are going to be sick forever. This person also had chronic Lyme disease, which I have, and co-infections, so I, I actually feel... I disagree with what he said. I understand it is tough. I mean, you feel beaten down at times and like there is just no hope. So many nights, I mean, I've literally just been like, how, why am I still even battling? Like, how like, am I ever going to heal? Like it, it gets so overwhelming. And I don't know if that guy thought I was just trying to say like be positive all the time because that's certainly not what I was talking about. I mean, I believe in trying to be positive all the time. But not like like feel your emotions. Like if you, it's so okay to have like terrible days, and just not every day is gonna be like, oh wow, this, this is great. Because I mean, trust me, when you're battling stuff, like it, it's gonna there's gonna be days that just suck so bad. And especially like on any healing journey, healing is definitely not linear. You don't just start like, oh, I'm in a healing process. Like day one, I'm gonna get a little percent better, a little better, a little better. It's I mean, you're gonna have ups and downs. The amount of setbacks I've had is so frustrating. Even when I started my channel at Surf the Storm. I thought it was going to be maybe like a year of treating after I finally, I went undiagnosed for so long. So when I finally found out what my issues were, I thought this was going to be awesome. I'm going to treat this and like within a year, I'll make positive content about how, showing other people how to heal. I didn't realize I was still going to be on a healing journey. And I was, since I got such a late diagnosis that this is going to be extremely hard to treat. So I completely get that. It, oh God, healing journey is going to be so tough. Before I make like my next point about mindset, I want to say like right now. So about a week ago, my Lyme disease, I have chronic Lyme, I have Bartonella, which is a co-infection, and it is flaring out of control. I'm trying to treat it with like a bunch of natural protocols, but basically it is just flaring. I'm just, I'm not really getting better at the moment. And I mean, I've had this for so many years. It's, I was just, I even told my wife, I'm like, this is too much. Like I can't keep doing this. Like I'm never going to heal getting super upset. At the same time, this was all happening. I was having crazy eye issues. Um, ended up going to the eye doctor. I have like crazy inflammation behind like my eyelids and I have like a double eye infection. And now I have to wear glasses for the next month, which is new to me. Also, I've always wear contacts. So even that I'm like, all right, now all of a sudden I have to wear glasses, super uncomfortable. And my eyes hurt. That sucks. I'm treating that now too. So on top of all that, I have that to deal with. Absolutely sucks. I was devastated. I definitely felt bad for myself a little bit before picking myself up. And just as I kind of accepted that, um, I got an insane virus and I'm out of work today. I called out of work. Yes. I never call it work. I hate calling out of work. And I mean, I didn't even sleep two nights ago. I've been sick, really sick. And I swear to God, when you get a virus, when you already have like a bad immune system, like chronic Lyme and Barnanella, it affects everything. This thing is kicking my ass, hoping it'd be better enough that I'm going to go to work tomorrow. But brings me back to mindset. So when I first finally got the diagnosis with my Lyme, when it got really, really bad, I mean, my half my face froze with like Bell's palsy. I was on so many different medications. I couldn't even go outside. I was like literally stuck in my bed for a while. I woke up every single day. And I was just so upset. I didn't even want, I'm like, oh great. Like I dreaded it. I woke up the next day and I was like, this sucks. Another day of feeling like shit. This is awful. Just kind of suffered through my day. The next day I'd wake up and be like, I don't even want to do this. Like another day, this is going to be terrible. The next day I'd wake up, same thing. I was just like, oh my God, like I don't, why do I even want to do this? Like this sucks. This is terrible. Eventually I realized, holy shit, like nobody's coming to save me. Like clearly this treatment plan is not really helping too. So that's when you have to start rescuing yourself. And that's when mindset comes along every single day. Now, even when I wake up, I mean, I got my, my sign that says like healing happening and all the stuff. I look at that right away and kind of like slap that I wake up every single day. And I just think like, this could be the best day like this. You know what? I'm going to get 1% better in like my healing journey somehow, whether that even if you're like bedridden, if you're just reading up on stuff, new things to try everything. I mean, I've tried, I'm not even going to get into the different stuff I've done, but I mean, I have experimented with so much different healing things and having just that hope in your head, just realizing like, even if you, after a bad day, there's been plenty of nights. I mean, I go to bed, I've had panic attacks, like all through the night, not sleeping. I'll still wake up that next day. Like, you know what? This is a new day. Nothing has gone wrong right now. Like this is like a clean slate. Obviously, this is wicked hard to do, right? If you're in a flare or whatever you're dealing with, if you have grief or just other sad things. But I still feel like that's such a better strategy than just waking up every single day and already being like, this sucks. Like this sucks. Like you almost already, like you set yourself up 
for just a bad day if you're thinking like that. If you, you wake up the next day and you're like, all right, this could be a good day, and you give yourself that hope and just... It, but you and you start applying that. Like the momentum you can build is unbelievable. Like I said, even if it's so such little steps you can do, if you just see it, maybe if it's a new protocol, maybe it's you start meditating. Like I mean, it could be anything. I don't know what your healing journey looks like, but it just could be like I said, just maybe some extra positive thinking, uh, just reading something new, studying something, just like baby steps, whatever you can add to your life. If you start, if you do that, you'll still feel like shit, but you're like, all right, well I did that. And then maybe you'll start building confidence. You can just, who even knows? But I swear to God, like those little 1% baby steps, they could be so helpful. And that's what I was talking about. Like mindset, like don't just throw, like, you don't want to just like, you have to think of yourself as like a warrior or a boxer or all those like analogies, or everything about just like picking yourself up. It, all that stuff is so cliche but it really works. And I know this now because I've been sick a while and I'm, I'm sick now and I don't have any end in sight of like healing. But at the same time, like I have that positive attitude. I'm, I'm just thinking like you, you got to have that hope. Like, like I will heal and you start believing it after you just keep just chipping away at this. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to lose the plot if I keep talking. Cause I am, like I said, sick and have crazy brain frog fog. But, um, anyway, mindset, really does matter you seriously you seriously are so much stronger than you think you are it just you you really are and um it can get better and like i said wake up that wake up tomorrow just like it's it's a new day a new day for healing a new day to make progress just try to dial that mindset in just a little bit and you'll you'll be on just be grateful like think of those different things look i'm talking too much again just just dial in that mindset dial in that gratitude have the best day ever